Hey folks, I want to give you a link that you really should check out. It's called um, Atheism in the Internet. And just click below this video and I'll put the link there. But I want to show you something here. First of all, it talks about YouTube. And it says YouTube uh, is a site where um, one of the primary avenues is for passing off atheist secularist propaganda. <laughs> That's pretty true. And then um, over here, however, it talks about atheism is losing adherence in terms of the global population. Check this out. It says there was a recent report by the American Spectator and it reported that about 80,000 new Christians every day, 70,000 new Muslims every day, but 300 fewer atheists every day. And so it's saying that atheism is actually shrinking. It says these atheists are presumably disproportionately represented in the West while religion is thriving in the global South where charismatic Christianity is exploding. <laughs> now, um, also you want to read this where it says prominent general atheist websites appear to receive significantly less traffic from women. And it talks about that, how it's mostly a male-dominated humanist religion, I would call it. Um, for example, it says, New atheism websites appear to receive significantly less traffic from women. And um, they show statistics on that. So that's interesting. And then what happened is it goes on how women are saying that they believe atheists are socially uh, quarrelsome, socially challenged males. So you want to read that article. <laughs> now, it mentions uh, my channel here, me here, Christian thwarting of atheist cyberbullying. And um, it says there's a widespread problem with atheist cyberbullying on YouTube towards Christian and creationists. And a lot of people have heard my story how the atheists have false flagged my channel down seven times and YouTube basically does nothing. They just allow it to happen while they manually protect atheist channels. Um, it says, um, popular Christian YouTube channel Shock of God was shut down several times by atheist cyberbullying through false reports, but was able to thwart their cyberbullying using some effective tactics. And there's different things that I do um, to <laughs> basically counteract this. Um, and then, it's interesting here, it says, Christian YouTube channel Shock of God and Atheism. And it says here, um, the YouTube channel Shock of God is a popular Christian YouTube channel which offers various critiques of atheism, plus offers various satires of atheism, you know, my comedy videos, Santa Syndrome and stuff, and humorous quips about atheism. Now, you guys know I asked atheists to give some good arguments why we should believe atheism is true give us some proof and evidence give us something and it's known as the question right everyone on YouTube's heard about it. it says shock of God caused a great deal of consternation and you atheists should look up that word among YouTube atheists by asking them the question what proof and evidence do you have that atheism is accurate and correct there have been atheists who have left atheism and mentioned that shock of God's YouTube channel was helpful and we've done videos on that. But uh, one of my favorite parts that they have here <laughs> on the channel is some of my little humorous quotes that I've, that I've said, right? Um, let me think of one. Well, right here it talks about the Atheist Experience Show failing. Um, let's go there. There's Matt. He failed. Um, and as you know, um, I challenged... Uh, every atheist on YouTube, we've called into the radio shows and we've asked them for proof and evidence, anything, any good argument, why, uh, you know, atheism is true. Now, it also mentions the amazing atheist here and it talks about how he failed to uh, prove that atheism was true or accurate. He even admits on video, you can see that below here, that, that he can't do it. And I also challenged the amazing atheist, the number one most subscribed to uh, atheist on YouTube, 
to a debate and I gave him three weeks to respond because I knew he would wuss out like atheists usually do. And he chickened out. He does not want to bait, debate. He's afraid. Um, but notice that here it mentions this. It says, the amazing atheist. As noted earlier, atheists are very active on YouTube. It says, um, as of December 2010, the most popular YouTube channel run by an atheist is the Amazing Atheist YouTube channel, which has over 175,000 subscribers. So I figure I'll challenge the most subscribed to atheists, but he chickened out. He won't debate me, right? No, it says... The Amazing Atheist YouTube channel is produced by an overweight atheist. In one video, the Amazing Atheist exclaimed, Why am I so fat? Um, and then it says, The popular Christian YouTube producer, Shock of God, uh, there's me, posed the question, because I pose this to the Amazing Atheist, What proof and evidence do you have that proves atheism is accurate and correct? To which the Amazing Atheist was unable to, to provide any proof and evidence supporting atheism. We also challenged Matt with the Atheist Experience show. He failed miserably. He talked about a unicorn in a box or whatever like that. Um, and then, <laughs> there's, <laughs> I gotta say, there's a lot of funny things. It says, recently the popular Christian YouTube channel Shock of God produced a humorous video which featured Matt Dillahunty entitled, Why Does Atheism Leave Us Hungry for Truth? You've gotta see it. I'm not gonna spoil the surprise when you click there. Um, so we know that Matt's failed uh, to give us any good arguments why atheism is true. He made a fool out of himself on uh, TV saying that unicorns prove atheism is true. We know the amazing atheist, and um, you'll see him right below the video, this video when you click the link. Uh, we know the amazing atheist said that um, he cannot prove that atheism is true and accurate. So he waved the white flag of surrender. And then I challenged him to a debate and He's afraid. I gave him three weeks to get back with me. Three long weeks, and he chickened out. He doesn't want to debate me. Um, I've now challenged um, another atheist. I'm going to be doing a video on that. I've challenged him to a debate. I'm challenging all the top atheists. You know, the fish rots from the head down, so I start from the top, and I, I go downward. But you've really got to see this uh, about Matt Dillahunty, the amazing atheist, um... It also talks about some other athe atheists on YouTube that failed to give any good arguments why atheism is true. Internet atheism and obesity, it talks about that. Um, I guess I'll leave you guys with uh, a quote here. This is some of my f funny quotes that they have here on the, on the page. And um, it's <laughs> it says... Um, Here's, okay, here's one. The hostility I'm getting over this question, you know, the question, what proof and evidence do you have that proves atheism is accurate? Correct? It's like this. Picture this. Atheism is a clown and didn't know it. And then I got the clown and I walked it over. I forced it to look at itself in the mirror and it sees itself in all its red hair, big nose, big shoes, polka dot glory. But check this out. Um, read up how it talks about the amazing atheist failing, Matt failing, <clears throat> and also... Um, something that's very interesting, read up how it says that atheism is actually shrinking every day. And I plan to um, help these atheists uh, by converting them to Christianity, helping them to convert to Christianity um, so they can leave um, atheism far behind. So check that out. Click below. You can see the, the link. It's titled Atheism and the Internet. And there's so much there, I couldn't even go through uh, everything. But I'm telling you, you will be shocked. There's a bunch of secrets down there, too, when you go there. Some little secrets that you don't know. And um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great week.